So, this is my pet. His name is Church. Um, I got the name from the movie Pet Cemetery. The cat's name was Church. Uh, I don't know if you guys, because probably have heard of it. It's a book by Stephen King. They made it into a movie. Um, it's just these this family that lives near an, a Native American burial ground where you can bury stuff there and it'll come back to life. It's really really a heartwarming story. You should you should check it out. Well, like I said, there was a cat in there. And this guy's name is also Church. But Church isn't really a cat. But then again, it's really all hearsay if there's no scientific evidence. Being someone who studied science, I think I'm gonna set this to the scientific method. So, let's go back to sixth grade science. We need an objective, uh, hypotheses and predictions, methods, results, and conclusions. So first, our objective is to prove that church is not a cat. So, hypotheses. Hmm. What do cats have? What do cats do? Well, I guess cats have DNA. Um, cats eat cat food. Cats play with yarn. And oh yeah, cats have whiskers. So, those are my hypotheses. So my prediction is that church will not exhibit any of these. It's not going to eat cat food. It's not going to have whiskers. It's not going to have DNA. And he's certainly not going to play with yarn. I don't think there's a need to give a list of the methods. I'll just show you as I go along. I think those things on his nose ah, right there, that's a good shot. I think those are whiskers. Hmm. Who would have thunk it? He is ignoring the yarn. Come on. Play with the yarn. Where are you going? What have they been feeding you? Perfect choice. Premium hamster food. Hmm. I don't think cats don't eat hamster food. Cats eat cat food. Now, if you'll just hold still. Ha. I bet you didn't think I was smart enough to uh, do this prediction last. No, no, no. I knew I would need him alive for the other three. But I can kill him now. See? I'm pretty smart. Messy. Church can taste like tomatoes. You, sir, you're a bloody, bloody mess. Used to be a cute, fuzzy animal. Now you look really flat. Where are your organs? Huh. Anyway, let's see if we can't find some DNA in ya. Mm-mm. Oh, alright. He does seem to have DNA. Very large strand of DNA. What, I, what have I been feeding you? Wow. I don't even think I have DNA that large. So... 
He seemed to have a tie. He didn't play with the yarn. He eats. He doesn't eat cat food. He has DNA. He has whiskers. So... I guess from these results, I can't really make a conclusion. I really don't know whether he's a cat or not. Sometimes science is that way. Don't cats always also win on all fours? Huh, maybe this will be the bee and all and all. Church should land on all fours if I spike him to the ground. Ready? Well, I guess he's not a cat. I hope the pet cemetery is open this late.